Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. But actually, waiting to talk about this one just because we got one image and I felt like, ah, you know, there's not much to say off of one image alone. But uh, about a week and a half ago, yeah, the McFarlane Toys, they unveiled their upcoming The Dark Knight Returns, Frank Miller's comic book from the 80s. They're going to be doing an entire wave with a collective build figure. It's a very interesting figure. We'll get to that in just a second. But while I got you guys here, I just want to say if you're interested in any of these figures, I will have links in the description below for Amazon, Entertainment Earth, and whatnot. Thanks for using my links. Helps the channel to grow. So let's get right into it. The first figure of the four-figure collect-to-build wave will be Carrie Kelly's Robin and of course you know if you know the story and everything it's the female Robin she comes with her slingshot I feel like every Carrie Kelly that has ever been made always comes with a slingshot which is not a bad thing but I mean it would be nice maybe maybe a rock or something for that slingshot I don't know it's got to change it up every once in a while but again with the let's say the McFarlane toys the photography on the figures I don't think they're being done justice, and I'm just going off of that because in looking at, let's say, the recent Lobo figure, the photos for that guy was not the greatest, and then when he actually showed up in hand, it was a lot better, and subsequently, a lot of figures like that of the newer ones have been in that kind of general realm, so I would say in looking at the photos of these upcoming figures, just keep that in mind and have fingers crossed in that sense because some of these don't look so hot given the photography, unfortunately. But she does have a really nice windswept cape. I dig that. It's just not a boring regular cape. It's different. I have the Mattel, the Dark Knight Returns figures. So to have these, to be honest, I'm really more about the collective build figure than anything. Being that I mostly have all these figures already, you know what I mean? And they were done very well when at Mattel. So you get Carrie Kelly, again, you get her slingshot, you get a stand in the card, and you get the parts for the collective build figure. And then of course, next up, what's a Dark Knight Returns wave without a really buffed up beefy Superman? And again, I'm kind of hoping that in the face sculpts, it's uh, they're a little bit better. Uh, when this Superman arrives on shelves. I think the body works. I think everything about it looks good. I really wish that they would have uh, painted the belt loops on this Superman because it's just a yellow belt all the way around. It'd be nice to put the reds. I like the cape. I think that looks good on him. Overall, the body is very solid for that Frank Miller type artwork, but it's just the face sculpt. I don't know. We'll have to see how it comes out in the final version. Stand, extra hands, Parts, <laughs> drumsticks. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second. It's actually pretty funny. Moving on to the next figure is the Joker, the Dark Knight Returns Joker. And I'll tell you right off the bat, the whole DC thing about not having guns. I mean, that's here's a character, just for instance, that suffers greatly. I mean, one of the best scenes, one of the most poignant scenes of the Dark Knight Returns is the Joker's final tirade in the Tunnel of Love and all that kind of stuff. So that's, you know, that's when characters like this need those specific types of weapons. Yes, he comes with a giant knife, <laughs> which that's good. He's got a more windswept tie to him. I don't know if I really dig that. I really like the pattern effect that they got on the jacket. I like the purple. I think the purple, you know, kind of nitpicking at this point but maybe a little bit too purple in some aspects but that's just that's being a nitpick of all you know come on just relax about the colors right he comes with an extra hand he got the knife the stand and he has uh, the horse's head from the godfather apparently in a saddle <laughs> interesting right i bet you can pretty much guess what the collective build figure is going to be if you don't already know and then we actually have a, a surprising, whoa, crazy, right? I bet everyone's like, you know, just shocked. There's another Batman figure, and this is the Dark Knight Returns Batman. And I really like the way this one looks. I think out of all four, this is the one that's like, okay, that is one. It's photographed well, and it looks like it's going to be a great looking Frank Miller Batman. I like the, the expression. He's mad. He's gritting his teeth. That's not always something we see. The Mattel 
the more uh, beefed up bat suit from when they did the Dark Knight Returns had a more main gritty face to him. So it's it's really actually nice to see that. I like that when they put those little effects on a character. Sure, it would have been great to have some extra heads going on in this. But he does come with uh, actually like the little Frank Miller looking batarang on a rope. Again, nitpicking. Would love it if one day they went back to string, a la Kenner or something like that. I just, I'm a big fan of that, you know, wrapping around or doing the whole Batman thing. If you wanted to go that route, you can always create one for yourself. It ain't that hard. Nice cape on him. So he comes with other parts of the collectibility, the figure, the card, the stand. A couple extra hands. He even has fisted hands this time. We did it. We've complained enough. <laughs> No brainers, right? For Batman punching hands. And then he's got the battering on the rope. So again, four figures, collect a build. Can you guess what you're building? It's a horse. <laughs> a lot of people, I guess, you know, when they kind of posted this uh, way back when, they thought, it, you know, a no brainer, I guess, would have been the mutant leader. I'm actually kind of glad they didn't go that route. I would actually just like to see a giant bigger size mutant leader to kind of go with this again i really like what mattel did there's not a whole heck of a lot of characters from the dark knight returns to do figures or at least figures that it's like very interesting you know very toyetic in that sense but uh, you know i wouldn't mind like a two-face if he had the bandage face and then he had like the two sides to match kind of two-face face that would be i don't know that'd be kind of cool but uh yeah the the horse looks pretty good <laughs> There's no standalone photos for the horse just yet, but it's a horse, of course, and I mean, I got to give it to him on that. I think that that's interesting. It's different. It's totally just like, oh, okay, you, it's a build a horse wave. That's pretty cool. You don't see that often. It's mostly just a figure, or if we're lucky with other brands, it's a tiny figure or something like that where you collect to build it, but A-okay with the horse. The horse is probably the figure I'm looking forward to the most. I actually really dig that Batman, to be quite honest with you. The Joker, again, it's kind of hard to top the Mattel thing, even with the Batarang in the eye that they hid in there. That was trim magnifique, right? That was pretty cool. Superman, God, hopefully it's uh, yeah, not that face sculpt. And Carrie Kelly, from honestly what they're showing so far, I mean, she doesn't look bad, but again, <laughs> the slingshot and everything else, who knows? It, there's not many weapons, we'll just say that. But hey, batarangs and all that kind of stuff, that would be nice every once in a while. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this wave. Is it for you? Will you be grabbing? And again, if you're interested, I got links in the description below for Amazon, Entertainment Earth, all that jazz. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we all need another Batman wave like we need a hole in our heads. But hey, you know what? When the collect build figures a horse, well, the sky's the limit to that point. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. <laughs>